there is a kind of arms race between trees in a forest. And arms races are very common in evolution. The weather becomes cold or it becomes hot, it becomes icy, you have to develop a thick coat of hair, it becomes hot again, so you lose your coat of hair, all in evolutionary time. Evolution tracks the climate, but the climate is not trying to kill you. The climate is unpleasant, but it's not out to get you, not out to kill you. The lion and the antelope are not like the weather. The weather doesn't stand to gain from your death the lion does. Unlike the weather, the lion is an active enemy of the antelope. It might seem odd to see the antelope as an enemy of the lion, but it is in the sense that by escaping from the lion, it increases the probability that the lion will die of starvation. Predators and prey are on opposite sides of an arms race. The five fastest runners among mammal species are the cheetah, the pronghorn, the wildebeest, the lion, and the Thompson's gazelle. And it's no accident that these are, half of them are predators and half of them are prey. They're fast because their enemies are fast. Predators have to be fast because their prey are fast. Prey have to be fast because their predators are fast. Both of them have developed these advanced features that they have, like running speed and keen senses and things like that, all because of an arms race. On the one side between predators and the other side, prey. Predators and prey are engaged in an evolutionary arms race run in evolutionary time. Once again, economics comes to the forefront of our discussion. The arms race shows itself as a steady escalation in the quantity of economic resources that the animals on both sides spend on the arms race at the expense of other departments of their bodily economy. Hunters and hunted alike get steadily better equipped to outrun or surprise or outwit, etc., the other side. But improved equipment to outrun does not translate necessarily into improved success in outrunning for the simple reason that the other side in the arms race is improving too in evolutionary time. It's important to notice, Darwin himself understood this well, that the equipment for running fast, equipment for um, winning the arms race, is used to outrun rivals of the same species who are fleeing from the same predator. There's a well-known joke to illustrate this. Uh, two hikers were surprised by a bear and both started running away from the bear. One of them stopped to put on his running shoes. His friend said, what are you doing that for? You can't outrun a bear. And his friend who's putting on the running shoes said, I don't have to, unru out to outrun the bear, I only have to outrun you. The rabbit runs faster than the fox because the rabbit is running for his life while the fox is only running for his dinner. There's an asymmetry in the cost of failure. What this might mean is that the rabbit needs to spend more resources on running fast, on the arms race, whereas the fox, because he's not going to die immediately, he's only going to die later if he starves, the fox doesn't have to spend quite so much and therefore is free to spend more on other aspects of the life economy.